Hey, what's going on guys? Today we'll be taking a look at this optical mouse from a company called Toner. This is an $8 mouse roughly, so it's like $8 now, but it could of course fluctuate in price. So it's not a super expensive mouse, but I'll be reviewing it based on the price point because I'm not going to review it as like a $50 mouse because it's only a $8 mouse. However, it do does come in two colors, so we can either have the gray version or the yellow version. This is of course the yellow version here. I personally think the gray version looks much, much nicer, but if you are into the yellow, then you can of course get the yellow version here. So. The top is just a matte yellow material, you can, if you feel it's kind of like a rubbery material almost, it's weird because it's plastic, but if you kind of know what I'm talking about, like it feels soft almost, but it is in fact plastic. This is the box that it comes in, it's a super basic box, nothing um, really interesting about it. There is, I don't even know if you call it an instruction manual inside, it's kind of broken English and it just tells you plug this in and put batteries in here and it works. So. I mean, you don't really need any more explanation than that. And if they, you do have like problems or anything, there's actually a few um, things in here. There's like, if this is going wrong, do this. So that's kind of nice to have this little piece of paper in there. However, it's pretty broken English and it's kind of hard to read at times. But anyway, this is the box that comes in. You're not really worried about the box uh, with an $8 product. So nothing too interesting there. However, the actual mouse you can see um, is actually a pretty decent mouse for $8 at least. It's not that great obviously and the um, bottom piece here because this is an optical mouse I believe it's not laser because it's blue so I believe it is an optical mouse let's wait for it to turn on oops I just turned it off okay so if you turn it on you can see that there's a blue little laser in there which makes you think it's an, that it is an optical mouse and so at least on this surface I mean this is a little bit reflective but it does not work on this whatsoever so I had to put a little piece of paper on there and then it works so you don't need like a necessarily a mouse pad but if you're wanting to use it on bare wood there's a decent chance it won't work because at least with this I think it's just because it's reflective it didn't work at all so our four buttons on here we have our page forward page back our DPI switch and then our um, scroll click so you can scroll Let's click this. I mean, I guess we have more than four buttons because we also have our main two clicking buttons, but you kind of know that those are there. So we have four additional buttons theoretically, except you can't customize anything because it's like there aren't any drivers or anything. However, it works very well with both Mac and PC. And because you can't customize anything, you're kind of stuck with what these are. So this is page four, this is page back, this is a DPI switch, and I'm not sure exactly what this is, I don't remember, but whatever the scroll wheel defaultly does on any mouse, but essentially that is what this will do here. And the clickiness of it and everything, if you click it, it's actually um, pretty good. You can hear it as I hear it, and as you can click the scroll wheel. It sounds a little bit cheap, but it still works, and there's um, actually rubber on the scroll wheel, so it definitely feels pretty good. It's not like some totally plastic scroll wheel or anything like that. And then there's a little bit of ergonomics, as you can see, if, like there's a tiny spot-ish for your pinky. It's not like a totally um, regular mouse, because there's a little bit of ergonomics, so if you kind of put your hand in there, it's definitely comfortable. Um, it is a little bit smaller than some mice, but of course it's a $8 wireless mouse, and for $8 is actually pretty decent. Um, one thing that I constantly notice, I don't, where is it, alright, right here. I don't know if you guys can actually see this or not, but it's not 100% yellow, like it's like they painted here, and this piece is just left off, and I don't know why, because it's like, most people probably won't notice it, but for me at least I constantly see it, and it drives me insane, so. And like when you're using it, of course, you don't see it, but if it's just sitting on a desk or something, this little lack of paint here really drives me crazy. So overall, it's a pretty cheap mouse, but it's also pretty cheap in cost. It's not like you're paying a premium price for a cheap mouse. You're getting about what you pay for. Um, they have cheaper mice on eBay that are probably a little bit worse than this. So I mean, you can go with what you want. However, um, one thing I wish they had is a little place to store this thing. There's no spot to store the USB. Like even in here, I guess you could do it. So let's try to open this and show you what's in here. So. Inside here, there's the batteries. Actually, never mind. There is a spot to store it. I all right. So I believe that is what this is. So if you just put this in here, okay, there's a spot to store it. So I totally take that back. You can just store the little USB thing in here. Although it's really, really hard to get out without actually taking the batteries out. I remember now. That is why I um, didn't store it in there. So there's not really an ideal place to store it. However, this works if you want to take this piece off, which is also kind of difficult to take off. It was like a little tab or something. It'd be nice, but this is just kind of you just pull really hard and it comes off and then you stick the little USB thing in the batteries in there. The batteries were actually really, really hard to get in, but once you got them in, they were perfectly fine. I was like, it almost seemed like the batteries didn't fit in there, but then they did, and of course it works perfectly fine. So uh, getting this USB out, I would recommend taking the batteries out, because I personally can't get it out, at least right now. So 
that is the um, reason it's not ideal and this piece here is actually kind of difficult to get off so it's nice that you do have a place to store that so I was wrong about that I remember that but yeah so getting this piece off is actually pretty difficult and then getting the USB out without taking the batteries out is also difficult so if you would like to do that um, you will probably have to allocate a little bit of time to it and actually getting the second battery up. In a lot of mice there's like a ribbon underneath the battery so you just pull the ribbon and the battery pops out. That is not the case for this mouse so getting the batteries out will be really 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 difficult I imagine. I probably have to like stick a, a butter knife in there or something. It's not generally something you want to do into an electronic device but that is probably what you'll have to do in order to replace the batteries on this mouse. So overall for an $8 mouse it definitely isn't a bad option. I personally like the gray version a lot better but if you do like the yellow version you can go ahead and order it. The link will be in the description. It's like on the same page so you can just select the color you would like on the Amazon page. So I'll go ahead and link those in the description if you would like to purchase this mouse. And yeah, anyways, thank you guys very much for watching this review. If you would like to see more videos similar to this one, then feel free to subscribe. I've done a lot of reviews of all kinds of wireless, mouse, wired, mice, all these kinds of things, which can be found on youtube.com slash Jolt Reviews if you're watching this on Amazon. And yeah, anyway, this has been Jordan for Jolt Reviews. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next review.